I'm George Triftaris, a professor of statistics at Heriot Watt University. My recent work has included uh, the modeling of cancer rates for mortality and incidence. The SCORE Foundation has kindly supported our recent work um, on the impact of COVID-19 on breast cancer mortality. My name is Aisha Arek and I'm a research fellow at Harriet Watt University um, and I'm here to answer a number of questions related to my research project funded by SCORE Foundation for Science. When we look at um, all cancers together, all cancer types together, or uh, when we look at lifestyle cancers such as lung or bowel cancer, there are important significant differences between different regions in England with uh, regions in the north having uh, much higher um, uh, rates both for incidence and mortality um, as compared to the south um, uh, of England. We also found that there are socioeconomic differences with, the, um, uh, with people in the most deprived groups of the population um, also having higher um, uh, cancer rates. What was also um, important in what we found was that those differences become more profound with time. So we had a number of um, years of observation, so we did find that uh, those differences became higher um, with time. Now, um, what is also important here to, to, to note is that um, although we did look at some uh, structural changes in the population, the changes in the population itself in the future, uh, what we did not uh, allow or account for, uh, include in our model, is changes that we could not actually predict. So changes that have to do with um, public health service uh, provision or medical advances. Um, so we haven't accounted for that um, happening in the future. In other words, what we are saying here is that if everything stays the same in terms of provision of health service, socioeconomic and regional uh, differences will persist into the future. With the health um, provision disruptions happening with, um, with lockdowns and so on, um, the diagnosis of certain types of cancer uh, fell sharply during uh, the pandemic. Now, of course, that does not mean that the incidence of cancer fell. What it means is that, is that uh, diagnosis happened at a later time, perhaps at a later stage of cancer as well. So with our model, we were able to quantify that. Uh, we looked at specific cancer types such as um, uh, uh, breast cancer or lung cancer. So in particular, we found um, that uh, a one-month delay will result in, a, uh, on average, uh, in about 3,700 excess deaths by 2036. And this is a very important and alarming figure. The COVID-19 pandemic doesn't have any known impact on the onset of any type of cancer, including breast cancer. And what happened though is because of the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been a series of health disruptions. How we basically approached our research question is like to investigate the impact of initial health disruptions on breast cancer risk in particular breast cancer mortality. And as a result of our research, we estimated a small to medium sized impact on breast cancer mortality, changing between three to 6% compared to the pre-pandemic period uh, for age between 65 to 89 years old. It could be applicable to certain cancer types, including prostate cancer and cervical cancer, where these cancer types have similar characteristics, uh, such as high survival rates compared to some other cancer types, such as lung cancer, and also availability of cancer screening programs. 